The musical comedy Murders of 1940 seeks a slasher who killed three dancers in the chorus of a musical called Manhattan Holiday. It also has other villains. That's why playwright John Bishop had to make it the musical comedy Murders of 1940, even though he wrote it in 1987. One set of villains are Nazi saboteurs. The play is a real murder mystery with complications and suspense, but it's also a comedy, a parody of mysteries set in mansions isolated from the world by a blizzard with lots of theatrical in-jokes. This isolated mansion belongs to Elsa von Grossengreuthen, a wealthy backer of plays and the granddaughter of a renowned German spymaster. Espionage runs in her blood, she claims. That's why she's eager to reopen the case of the stage door slicer. The role lets Peggy Levin flourish the oddities of a wealthy eccentric. Elsa has invited a number of people from the Manhattan Holiday production to come to her house for what purports to be a backer's audition for a new musical, White House Merry-Go-Round. She's really set it up as a way to trap the stage door slasher. She's enlisted the help of a New York police detective played by David DeRose. But as soon as the curtain is up, Elsa's maid, the very German Elsa Wenzel, is murdered. But then Elsa reappears to welcome the guests. Or is it Elsa? If not, who? Whoever, the Helses are all played very well by Danielle Feinstein, though her German accent got too thick for me to follow sometimes. Director Candy LeMays arrives, disdainful of lesser mortals in Shane Rudolph's portrayal. Patrick Ryan appears as Patrick O'Reilly, an Irish actor in full brogue who turns out to be, uh, no, he's actually, well, somebody else. Karen Thyssen swans about grandly as Marjorie Baverstock, one of the producers. Nikki Crandall auditions for the chorus, and Samantha Hayes makes her a charmer. Eddie McEwen is a comedian trying to break into Broadway, and Donald Kidd has authentic comic timing and wonderful plaid pants and suspenders from costume designer Hayes. Michael Blackwood composed the two songs for the fake audition, with Russ Leonard playing the musical's composer with surprising smarts. Emma Geisel, as the booze-swilling lyricist, makes an impression when she floats back into consciousness. Becca Harbison directed with a firm grasp of the style. She and Matthew Garrison designed the set, with lighting by Ryan Young. The musical Harmony Murders of 1940 balances comedy and suspense well as does the Theatre Guild of Webster Grove's production. Agreed. Thank you.